Hi boys and girls, we are about to create orthogonal lines, but first I want to make sure that you have practiced drawing some lines going from point to point and that there are areas that you've erased where you can't see your lines because we want to draw nice straight lines and we want to draw them loosely, right? So if you've done that, put that aside. I will give you this wonderful little sheet that looks like this and it has these four squares on them. Not boxes, but they're just squares. I want to make sure you put your name, your table number, and your room number on them. If you haven't done that, pause the video and do that, okay? So now I'm gonna show you one that's finished and even has some extra things on it. So these lines are diagonal lines, but they all end at the vanishing point. So they are all orthogonal lines, orthogonal lines, O-R-T-H-A-G-O-N-A-L, orthogonal lines. Now, I drew on mine, you're not gonna do this on yours, I drew an eye, because this is where the person is looking from to see these boxes looking like this. If you're right here, this is the horizon line, so that's eye level. If you're standing right here and you're looking at this box, you're gonna see the top, but you're not gonna see the sides. If you're standing here and you're looking up at this box, you're gonna see this side of the box and you're gonna see the bottom of the box. But you're not gonna see this side of the box or this side of the box, right? And over here, if you're here, you're gonna see this side of the box and the bottom of the box, but you won't see this side or this side. And again, if you're here, you're gonna see the top, you won't see the sides. Here, you'll see the top of this one and this side of this one, but you're not gonna see this side or this side, right? Okay, so this is called, if you're down here and you're looking up, it's called the worm's eye view because the worm would see the bottom of the boxes, right? If you're flying around up here and you're looking down, you see these, you see the tops of the boxes, and that's called a bird's eye view, okay? So here we go. Get out your paper, and we are gonna make some orthogonal lines. So we're gonna start with this box up here where it says bird's eye view, and we're gonna start with this corner of this box. We're gonna connect this corner to here. So, just the same way I did my other straight lines with a ruler, I held my pencil here. I'm gonna line up here and here. Hmm, could probably be a little bit closer to there. Once I get it lined up to there, I'm gonna look back here. So you're looking back and forth, right? And then, my hand is actually like this. I showed you how to do it like this. You can do it like this, too. As long as it's not like this, or like this, you're good. So I'm gonna go like this, make sure it's in the right place, hold my pencil loosely, and draw that line. Give it a try. Mrs. O'Brien will pause between these. Okay, so the next one, we start at this corner down at the bottom, and we're gonna to go to here. So let's line up that ruler ever so carefully. You can't see my eyes, but I'm looking back and forth from here a few times. I'm gonna hold my ruler and draw my light line. And now I'm gonna do one from here to here, from this corner. So if I bring my ruler there, and then as I'm watching here, I hold my pencil here and I'm watching down below, and I line it up there. Hmm, just be a little bit closer, right? And I look back here, make sure it's still in the right place. And again, holding it right there. And my pencil is always touching the ruler and I drag it along there. So why don't you do that? Now, should I draw a line from here? If I did, it would be going through my box, through my square. And it wouldn't really make sense unless I had an open box, which we're not doing. We don't see inside. This is a solid box. We see the bottom 
and this side and the front. So I'm not doing a line from a corner that would go through, right? That's not right. Let's do this one. So I'm just gonna tell you what to do and then you're gonna do it. You're gonna draw from this corner to there, from this corner to the vanishing point, and from this corner to the vanishing point. Should we draw from this corner? Nope, because if you do, you're going through it. So you go ahead and do it, and I'm gonna do it along with you. I finished. You can pause the video if you haven't finished. Now I'm gonna do this one. Now, remember, we only have one vanishing point on the whole page. We're not gonna do from this corner because this corner would go through the square, right? So I want you to do from this corner and this corner and this corner. Uh-oh, what's happening? It's going through this box, huh? So all you have to do is make sure your ruler is lined up properly, and then only draw until you get to the edge of that box. You're not gonna draw any further. Here's why. When we do this box, we just go from this corner the back and this corner to the back. And this one overlaps this one so you wouldn't see a line going all the way like that. So if you did draw it, just erase it because we know you drew it lightly, right? So this is how your page should look right now.